it is Manchester United 3, Leicester 0. The big bad wolf tried to come to us and huff and puff. And I keep saying again, we was made out of brick walls. You couldn't huff and puff shit. You couldn't blow up anything, big man. Big bad wolf. Manchester United collected three points. Oh, sweet. Just because to just celebrate and send off Ruth Van Nistelrooy in a well rounded, well standing up. Big up to Rude because I hope he stays. I hope this guy stays onto the coaching team. We've been hammering. Please keep Rude Van Nistelrooy because he's kept this ship steady. You know, he's giving you some signs that there is something to work with, with these scrubs. But Manchester United, big up. Ending a very good weekend for us. You know, we can go to work happy. Happy as Larry with three points. Back-to-back -back victories for Manchester United. That's what I'm talking about. You know, and Rude done it within a couple of games. That scrub ass Eric Tanner couldn't do that. I'm happy today because it was a overall, overall, it was a good performance from the guys. First half, we was good, we was brilliant. Second half, yeah, we maintained our lead and then added to it, you know. So that was a very good, good performance from Manchester United overall. We can be happy with that. Yes, we can smile, we can enjoy it, man. I thought today in the first half, Manchester United starting off well. You know, defensively, we was good. Pressing rise, we was good. I saw Garte hunting the ball down several times. You know what? You shall not pass. You shall not go past this area. Garte, what a team. What a chaser. What a chaser of the ball. But Rashford, you was absolutely horrendous. You was horrible. You stank a couple of times. You was like, hmm, P.U. The performance wasn't good for Marcus Rashford in the first half. And it was right for him to be taken off in the second half early on. But the goals coming from Manchester United in the first half, Bruno Fernandes. You know what? Ahmed Diallo just shows exactly why he should be playing, why he should be starting. A lovely back heel from Ahmed Diallo to find Bruno Fernandes to strike it, curl it. Oh my God, what a sensational goal. Bruno Fernandes lifting us up, starting us in, in rapture. Of course, celebrating his 250th appearance for Manchester United. So many goals from him, so many assists. Second off, I mean, second goal for Manchester United, which came from a cross from, from Manchester United. And again, Bruno striking it, but it came off a deflection off of Christensen. We thought Bruno Fernandes got his second goal, but it wasn't at all. Christensen with the own goal. <laughs> My bad, bro. It's, it's your fault. It came off of you. But hell, Manchester United was 2 0 up. I think Manchester United was, was the first time Manchester United even scored the first goal in the Premier League in the first half for a very long time this year and it means a lot we just it just shows how horrible we was in the past under Eric Ten Hag. half time 2-0 we was like yeah make it 3-0 and I put it in the group in the comments as well in the poll 3-0 Manchester United no one really voted for it apart from one person Alejandro Garnacho scoring the third goal after coming on for Marcus Rashford taking a delightful touch and then curling it in top corner Garnacho with a goal, an important goal to cement it, cement the victory 3 0 to Manchester United. Delightful performance from the boys. As I said before, there was some good spell of football, good play. Defensively, we was good as well. Andre Anana, another clean sheet. If we talk about the players right now. Um, Ogate was excellent. I keep saying it again. He is looking at home at Manchester United. No, he's loving life. He's loving that. He's clamping players. He's closing them down. He's showing that he's a beast, you know. And of course, Ahmad, brilliant performance from him. He done so well. Bruno Fernandes as well. There were some irritating times, but what can I say? Bruno, he got his goal. And again, the second goal could have went to him, but it's, it's, it was an own goal. Marcus Rashford was poor. And he deserved to come off very early. You know, you're supposed to show the manager, the new manager, that you will be fighting. You should be playing your best to impress a new manager. But you're not doing it, Marcus Rashford. You're just not doing it. Do you even care? Do you even care? But yes, Casemiro was excellent. So was Andre and Anna, like I said earlier on. But it is a brilliant performance for Manchester United and we can toast up. This is the first time we've actually won a game and go into international breaks with three points for a very long time. And Rude Van Nistelrooy happens to be the man that does that. What? Great. Amaran steps in tomorrow and he's going to be at the helms and he's going to be happy. You know, so much to work with, but he doesn't have the scrubs to be working with. Mark Rashford, you'll be there to be training. You're not going to get a break. 
you won't get a break. Man of the match, of course, Ugarte, brilliant. Donkey of the match, Marcus Rashford. You guys let me know who your man of the match is in the comments. The donkey of the match in the comments, your thoughts of this game. This has been your match reaction by your boy Ivorian Spice. Looking forward to Ruben Amarin. Yes, indeed. Are you? You let me know. Till next time, remember to keep it united. Remember to keep it red united. Smash that like button and subscribe. Peace.